The Minister for Tourism and Urban Renewal, Robert Tong, has re-emphasized the government's commitment to improving access into Dominica. In that regard, Prime Minister Roosevelt Skerritt recently announced plans to build an international airport on the island. However, Tong explained that while building an international airport is essential, the process could take years and in the interim, other alternatives are being sought to improve air access. Tong continued that the government plans to engage Norwegian Airlines, a low-cost airline which provides flights to Guadeloupe and Martinique and from the U.S. at affordable rates. So Norwegian Airlines provides amazing rates to travel to Guadeloupe and Martinique. A friend of mine just sent his three kids to the States. Guess how much he paid for their ticket from, from Martinique to the States? Guess, guess how much? How much? He paid 79, 79 US per ticket from Martinique to America. So what we've realized is that they have fantastic rates. And he said there are discussions with Air Antilles, which flies to Dominica, to capitalize on that connection as well as other connections. So what we're going to do is to capitalize on that connection. So we are going to be working, we actually begin the discussions with um, Air Antilles so that when that flight comes to Guadalupe Matnik, as opposed to having to overnight and still take the ferry, you have the option of taking a flight and coming in the same day. Again, improving access and making it easy to come to Dominica. Again, so that more visitors can come to Dominica. St. Lucia has an airport called Hiranor. It's an international airport. That airport has as many international flights as Barbados. So we are working with TIA, TIA 2000. It's a new airline, again, so that you have another option to come to Dominica. So as opposed to just one option, we're trying to give you multiple options. According to Tong, his ministry is also pushing to have a weekly flight direct from the USA to Dominica. The government is also engaging in discussions with many of the big airlines in an effort to try to make it easier not just for Dominicans to come to Dominica, but also for the visitors. The community of Mayro has been selected to become the site for a yachting establishment in Dominica. Parliamentary representative for the St. Joseph constituency, Kelva Daru, announced that $500,000 has been budgeted for this new facility. Daru disclosed this new venture at a town hall meeting in Mero on Monday. That we are going to undertake in the upcoming financial year in Mero, we are going to undertake seriously yachting development in this community. Because we believe Miro is well positioned, well positioned to receive yachts. It used to happen in the past when we had Castaways Hotel blooming. And I believe the Ministry of Tourism has put in the budget an amount of half a million dollars where we'll develop a jetty in Miro and all of the other infrastructure to ensure that we can bring the yachting industry here in this community and we can even be on par with what is taking place in Portsmouth. He said the yachting sector has transformed the community of Portsmouth and believes that Mero could adopt a similar program by building the yachting sector. The MP also indicated that this facility will help to develop the community and generate more economic activity. We can build on the yachting sector and we can have more tourist dollar here in this community because there are several other services that will be associated with the yachting sector that each and every one of us here in this community who is serious about the sector, we can make a dollar. The community of Mero, which is located on the west coast of the island, is widely known for its black sand beach and is a popular tourist attraction.